Hello, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I am Kaygiver Kyle, and last time we left off, we had just finished Nico's uh, Rite of Passage for the Pirates and arrived at the Forsaken Fortress. And we'll go ahead and pick up from where we left off. Yep. I think she said she was up here. What are you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing with some stupid game for treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. Take a look. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago it used to be the hideout of a no good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place look like, looks like it's pretty dangerous. And you can see the camera pan in on the bird. Ah, I knew it. Look over there by the window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that is the place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? She's got an idea. Uh, don't mind me just chilling here. In a barrel. Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. You pirates do this thing all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Will it though? Who knows? Is everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Three. Two. One. Beautiful. See ya. This is great. And splat. There goes the sword. And down we go. Nowhere near where we wanted to get launched at. Spooky looking Forsaken Fortress. This place used to give me the chills when I was little. Well, whoa, your sword landed all the way up there. Dude, I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. And now the look in your face, priceless. I slipped a stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through the stone and obviously you can hear me through it. So if you see A, you'd better press the button. I put the stone in your quest status screen. Press start and use L or R to scroll around. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it. You understand? All right, I'm going to grab one of these barrels. Uh, pretty much how it works. Uh, don't get spotted by the light. Um, if I walk in the barrels, they can't spot me. Like if I go right, if I stop moving, it won't be able to spot me. But if I'm moving while the light is on me, then it will be able to spot me. And you got to be really careful because this one is kind of weird how uh, it goes up this ledge. But I'm not going to worry about the rupees for now. I'm going to do that, that later. I'm just going to start off with trying to uh, take out these spotlights. That's our first objective here, getting on this uh, this level. So, let's see, I might even be able to take one out up here. I can't remember. Let's see, Not that one, but I can definitely take this one out and get one off of our plate. Oh. 
Listen up, Link. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. If you can slay the monster, then just maybe it'll sh it'll shut the searchlight down. Oh, but you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blows and see if I could make it drop its weapon. Did that? You could pick up its weapon with A. But that's just me. What will you do? I don't know. Let's find out. Come on. So yes, we could try to do that deflect stuff, or we could simply come over here and grab a, a stick from the pot here and uh, have at it with this guy. There goes the spotlight being disabled. And give this guy a little one, two. Oh, all right. I'll demonstrate the mechanic where he drops it. Just because I got hit. There there it goes. Pick this up. There we go. First one's down. You got a joy pendant. You can keep it in your spoils bag. And these pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy like butterflies through nectar filled blossoms. Perfect. First tower is down. Now we got to figure out how to get to the rest of them. Wonder. There's no way that lets me jump all the way over here. Yeah, no, there's an invisible wall. Um, yeah, so that's where the next one is. I think I'm just going to go ahead and maybe try to get there from the inside over here. Well, actually, let's go see what's going on here. Okay, that's where we're trying to go. That really helped me. Let's go in here. So I believe there's like a dungeon. Oh, okay. Thank God I hit that. I believe there's a dungeon map in here. Dungeon map. Press the D-pad to view it. Green areas are ones you visited. The flashing areas are current location. Tilt to view the other floors. So, <clears throat> here's a dungeon map. Um, we have yet to explore a lot of uh, the dungeon, as we can see. Go ahead and continue onward. This will actually take us up towards where we're trying to go, I believe. I thought. Wait, no, what's in here? That is actually going to be the prison, the jail. Okay, so that's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to continue. Don't miss it. Not cool. Not fun. Can I not open this door? Well, there's a piece of heart in there, I believe. But how do I get in there? I can't just open the door? There's got to be a way in here. Either way, I do got to be careful. Hold on. I can. I think I can make these guys uh, chill on me. If I grab some bait. So I don't want them to mess with me when I'm trying to sneak past those guards. Where's the mouse hole at? Right here? Damn it, dude. All right, let's try this again. What can you do for me? Delicious. Hey, I got something really good. I sell for you for real. What it'll be for you. Twenty. That is that is some highway robbery. I'll take it. Cause why not? Um, I wish I knew how to get into in here let's see what's up here maybe yeah i don't know um yeah there's no way out there's really no way out other than uh, trying to get past these guys honestly i might just try to get let's see this is gonna be tricky i've got to wait for them to both be on the other side 
pretty much these guys are like spotlights, except um it's with if you're within their range of vision, they'll catch you, you know. Like watch. Almost caught me there. So you gotta be really careful that they're not looking towards you. This dude and that dude, they both need to be on the other side so I can start going. Ah, oh, come on. I just start. Okay for now. He's going to turn around any second. I need him to not be looking at me. Now I need this guy to pass me so I can make a run for it while this guy isn't looking at me. All right, I think we're good. We made it. Very nice. All right, so how do we get back up here so we can get this piece of heart? Oh, these guys suck, dude. Not even kidding. All right, so what's up here? Is that my way back? Can I go up there? I think I can get back. Come on, don't follow me. All right. Yes. Okay, what's in here? Maybe this is a piece of heart. I don't know what that other chest is. I think that might be for later in the game. No, that's a compass. Okay, perfect. Now we'll find out for sure now that we have the compass. So there's a chest at the very end of the first floor. It might be what I was talking about. Well, which way do I go? That's I want to I want to go onward. I want to I want to pass. Well, I do want to make I do want to double check what's out here though. Make sure there's not like a stoplight I can take down. Okay, no, this is I need to be here. I think. No, this is where we came in from. Just the other way. So we'll keep going forward. We want to reach the end of the first floor. This mini map down here in the bottom left. We want to like make a full circle so we can grab whatever's in that chest. I believe it's like a piece of heart, which is pretty valuable. Let's go. Hmm. Okay. I'm not too sure if there's even anything out here. I think we just walked past. Yeah. All right. Come on. Okay, this is something that we're gonna after this in this cutscene. Uh, this is something we are gonna want to put down just so we can skip ahead and kind of come. We can just climb up this ladder by, by moving that block. If we ever fall off or need to go back down. Also, I do want to confirm that I didn't miss anything in this room back here, which I'll do real quick. Don't think I did. So we'll just continue on. Making our way to this chest. Still really interested. I think if I can go all the way to the end there, 
that I can make my way to the hard container. See, I'm almost at the end. I just have to pass both these guards and hope that hope that a rat doesn't take me out of this thing. Wait for him to trigger. Alright, I'm not gonna wait that long. Uh, this is kind of a tricky spot. I gotta wait for that guy to turn around and then this guy to pass me. Whenever they stop to sniff though, that's right when they're about ready to turn around. Nice. Nice. We are in the clear. Not too sure what this block is for. I need to stop walking out on these ledges. It's just gonna keep telling me, hey man, you need to get up there. What is that? Oh, nothing. Um, anyway, this is uh, where I believe the heart container is and I'm surprised. I definitely, definitely skipped a uh, that light tower over there. I know you only need to have two of them yeah, yeah, I skipped that light tower along the way. Um, it's not the biggest deal. It just makes it harder to get the rupees down there if I want to get them. Uh, but I do know for sure that this one right here needs to be down because I'm going to have to uh, go across this thing later on. I'm going to need that turned off. Okay, so we've reached the end. We need to successfully cross in order to get into that door so we can get the heart container, I believe. And or just the last... Come on! Okay, uh, the last tower. Trying to see where that damn heart container would be. Um, we'll find out later. Yeah, there's another, there's another door down here. We'll go ahead and take out this uh, necessary tower. What's up, dude? Nice. I love getting them with a throw. Perfect. So we've gotten all the required ones down. That one. Maybe I didn't skip one. Hold on. Let's see. That one was the first one. Huh. I don't know. I could have. I could have possibly skipped one because my thing is. I think there was a like a pathway up there to, to get this one out, but I wasn't. I'm not too worried about it. Um, I I definitely don't want to jump down there. I want to jump down here where I came from. Yeah, and go in here and see if we can find that item I'm looking for. Here it is. Check this out. It was right here all along. Check this out. Boom. Check 
Check this out. Wonderful. We got a piece of heart. Click four of these to complete a new heart container. More heart containers equals more life. Beautiful. Now, to be honest, I think I'm just gonna get myself thrown in jail here. What's up, dudes? Throw me in jail. Just because it's quicker to um get myself back to where I want to be. Other than just trying to sneak past him. Go over here. If we go behind this pot, we can reveal a hole to crawl behind. Very, very well designed prison. And we're back to where we were literally two seconds before we got the hard container. Uh, so now we pretty much just want to... Where did I come from? We want to backtrack back to where uh, uh, those two uh, minions were those two monsters that were patrolling I'll show you guys we want to backtrack to where we came from this way well what I should have done is just go down there and climb up the ladder I forgot I had that block down there Jeez. The money. Oh well. I totally forgot I had that there. So for future reference, if you guys ever play, you can take out that other, the other tower so you can freely grab all the rupees down there at the bottom. It's not really a big deal, but if you do, um, you have that little wooden block, the crate down there to climb up the ladder to get back up here. So pretty much we're going to walk, walk, walk until he goes, huh? And then he'll turn around, walk the other way to the left. This guy might go, whoop to me. So then if he does, I'll stop. Nope, he didn't. Drop. Run this way. Open these big ass doors. Make our way up these stairs. Another handy barrel shows us that we're going to be hiding from someone. And there he is. Don't think he walks down my way. So I would just kind of wait for him to stop staring at me. Ah, uh, he does walk towards me. In this. Okay, so this, I'm chilling. I'm not worried about it. He's going to sniff around and turn around and probably walk to the right. I never quite know the detection zones on this, so it's always scary. Yeah, look that way, dude. Yeah, dude. See you, man. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Imagine being on that type of uh, patrol duty. Imagine being on that night shift. Alright, so for this one, uh, they're introducing the Siddle mechanic here. And they even have a forgiving ladder if you mess it up. Pretty much you go against the wall whole day and this guy does some really cool uh, James Bond slide. He even has a light, nice little covert face on for it. And you gotta be careful when you get off. You don't wanna like run forward. And then we're gonna do it again. And this is where we'd actually be screwed if we hadn't taken out those uh, two required uh, searchlights because we would get caught here. But yeah, as you can see, I left that one on, but this one, those, that, uh, blah, 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 that one's required for sure. You can technically, I think, leave two of them on if you wanted. 
but the other one is just so easy to get why not um because it's literally right when you walk uh when you walk up here it's, it's easier to show with this when you first walk up your first one is up there i mean that's super easy to get there's tessa and uh not tessa there's a uh, tetra the pirates up there oh huh. interesting i like the detail in this game it has some cool details but yeah, um, I think the only required one is actually that one right there in the middle. I think you can technically get through without worrying about anything. But let's go ahead and fight this little mini boss. Or actually, it's kind of like the boss. Spikes go up. Big guy. Pick up our sword. Time freezes so we can be like, you got back the hero sword you dropped. Now you're in business. Take care not to drop it again. Love this, this mini boss music. Love it. I could literally repeat this like one more time. He's dead. That was really anticlimactic. <laughs> and I get nothing. Thank you. Oh, no. I get one rupee, but we are in it to win it. We couldn't even leave if we wanted to. So we better go ahead and, uh, Better go ahead and continue on. Oh, there's Arl, a couple other girls, 20 years. Something's not right. <laughs> Big Bird. And this is not Sesame Street Big Bird we're talking about. Yoink. I think his name is like the Hemlock King. Or something like that. Don't quote me on it. Him, him, not like, it's like Hemlock King or, or something. All right, let's see. He's taking us up to the top here. To the perch. Of the whole fortress. And he's gonna swing by this really, really spooky looking dude. We will later on learn who this dude is. Like, what should I do with him? This guy looks at him. He's just like... Huh? Notice the, the design on the back of his, uh, his cape. You know, that's something that repeats throughout the game. The eyes. As we saw in the very entrance of the game. Whenever the eyes were the evil... Uh, setting this land to fire. Keep that in mind, the symbolism. Here we are in the middle of the ocean, in the middle of nowhere. He flung us in the middle of nowhere, and this random red wooden boat is just there. Hey, Link. Link? Wake up, Link. Hey, it's daytime now. Pull yourself together, Link. Where am I? <laughs> well, have you come to your senses yet? Is he like wondering who's talking to him? Hey. You're surprisingly dull-witted. He's like, well, what the heck? He's like, I get some every time. Did I start you? I suppose that's only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear, I am not your enemy. Link. I've been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how you desire to protect your sister. Your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fiercely stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him. The shadow that commands that monstrous, that monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon. Key, who obtained the power of gods, attempted to cover the land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. 
He is the very same Ganon, the Emperor of the Dark Realm, the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the Seal of the Gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Very scary looking. Tell me, Link, do you wish to save your sister from, from him? Well, yeah. Can we do anything to save her? Uh, yeah. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. Thank you very much. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. You understand? Mm-hmm. In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a variety of who deal a variety of a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, you surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. While a sail must come first, do not feel limited to buying only yet. Once you have it, feel free to stock up on anything else that you think you may need. Remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately, as soon as your errands are done. Alrighty, so he has brought us to Windfall Island, and I believe it will pan out and show me the island once I walk out here, and there it does. Nice looking community here. Um, but that's actually going to be it for this episode. We will continue our journey at Windfall Island next time on The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. And be sure to stop by next time we embark not only to the Great Sea, but to the next dungeon. See you later.